Good morning. Good morning, guys. And it's actually morning this time. <laughs> um, it is Sunday morning. It is the day after our cheat day. So everything is resuming to normal. We are going to show you a full day of eating on a training day. So for us, this is technically a higher carb day because of our training. So we're going to take you along and you can see what we're going to eat. But first, you have to do faster cardio. You can't eat yet. Forgot to tell you before I do fasted cardio, um, I do something called vacuums. Kyle does them like every once in a while. So I do three sets of 15 seconds. And what it is, is you suck your stomach all the way in and kind of like up into your ribs and you hold it for 15 seconds. So um, you, it goes a little something like this. Okay, you suck in as much as you possibly can and hold your breath and basically get your stomach up into your rib cage as hard and as high as you can suck in and hold your breath <sighs> <I got it. laughs> and that it's actually the purpose is to keep your waist tight and small and it trains you know it trains your midsection to get smaller actually i've been doing them for about three months Three months now and I noticed um, like I still have I hold weight in my belly that I'm working slowly to get off but my um, waist it goes it's a lot more curvy and um, it's tapered um, off at the back as well so they do they do actually work um, don't mind my belly is a little bloaty and after cheat <laughs> Yeah, mine too. And you know, <laughs> I found it actually, um, they work a lot better than sit-ups, like traditional ab workouts. Like yeah. these are, like um, vacuums are old school, real, real old school like bodybuilder techniques yeah. to keep your waist tight. Arnold Schwarzenegger used to do them. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so I do a set in the morning before fasted cardio and then I do a set at night before I go to bed. Um, and also like, on the weekends, I walk with Kyle for my fasted cardio, but during the week, I walk on the treadmill, and I do 25 minutes uh, on the treadmill, and then I do five minutes of abs, usually. So, whatever I feel like. Sometimes I do, like, a couple of, like, leg moves, and then, um, or a leg and an ab move, like, together, and then... That's it. And the best thing about vacuums, you can do them, like I do them when I'm brushing my teeth or when I just have a, a minute, you know what I mean? Yeah, I do them when I'm gargling mouthwash because it's 30 <laughs> seconds, so that's two vacuums. Yeah. Um, yeah, so you can do them whenever. Um, and uh, normally I like hold my shirt up in the mirror and look in my stomach to make sure that it sucked all the way in, but I have like... I'm not comfortable with my belly because it used to be fat and it has extra skin. So Mine too. I have, that's the one area that I'm not 100% comfortable with yet. So, but I wanted to share that with you guys because I'm sure you all have body parts that you're not 100% with. My stomach is one of them, especially because, um, like I shared before, I have PCOS and it, it um, makes it really hard for you to lose all of your belly fat. So that's one thing that's gonna take me an extra long time to do. And um, yeah, so not 100% comfortable, but I work on it the best I can. I eat, you know, I diet six days a week and I do the best and one day, I hope it will be a bit flatter. And the best thing about vacuums is they're not crunches. Hey, but a lot of people hate crunches. No, a lot of people hate crunches, but since we got in really good shape, I can actually do like 50 sit-ups in a row. Me too. It is a lot easier to do crunches when you don't have all that weight, you know, in your midsection. Yes. And let me share something with you, friends. Yeah. Wait for it. Yesterday, we went for fasted cardio and we were like, "Hey, let's run a little bit." I used to be able to like take off running really, really fast for like 15 to 30 seconds. And then, and then like, 
like a battery running low, like then my energy would just like slow and then stop. Um, I took off running really fast and maintained it for running fully at full speed for what, how long would you say that was? Like a couple minutes? A couple, it was like at least two minutes and I was, I was, before I could beat you easily and now I was like struggling to keep up because I haven't jogged I, or ran in so long. I was like, whose legs are these? <laughs> I don't, oh, sorry guys, I'm, for some reason my voice is a little extra squeaky today. Um, I have no idea where that came from, but I was like so proud of myself because I've be, been able to increase that and it, I just kept going faster and faster and faster. I almost couldn't keep up with my legs. They were going so fast. And then normally I'm like, no, I'll never be able to do this again. This only happens once a, once a day and then I'm too tired. Well, sure enough, we did it again and I stayed at the exact same speed for another couple of minutes. So that just goes to show you like, don't try not to doubt yourself and work as hard as you possibly can. And even if you have areas that you're not 100% with, like talking McGee here, <laughs> <laughs> um, the rest of my body is in really good shape. It's just certain areas you, you, know, you can do the best you can with and you have to try to just accept that it might take a little bit longer. And I beat myself up too, I'm sure you guys do as well. And I know Kyle sometimes does too. He, he's better at not, at being more gentle to himself than I am. But he has his moments just like me. And um, just so you know, you just gotta catch yourself and just keep going. Because I know I work really hard, so I just remind myself of how hard I work. And that one day, you know, I will eventually get my belly a little flatter. I don't know how flat, because I do have extra skin, but I'll do the best I can. And I just try not to compare myself to others, although sometimes it is hard and I do do it. But I just wanted to share that with you guys. Like, you know, I'm sure you guys feel some of the same things. So that's sometimes what goes on in here. Okay, you ready to do cardio? Yeah, bunny, bunny. let's go. Woo. Okay, guys, we're back from fasted cardio. But I just wanted to let you know, before I eat anything, I take down um, two bottles of room temperature water. It's... The only reason I do room temperature for my first couple bottles is because it's easier and faster to get down. So two bottles of water and then these is, this is the rest of the water for my day. And I mark these two because these are my BCAA waters that I'll mix with my BCAA mix um, during my workout. And then I have a pre-workout water set aside for my pre-workout. Hey, and I do the same thing. I drink two waters before and then I pour four waters after. Let's go over here in one of these. So this is 2.2 liters and then after this is done I pour another two bottles in here and I drink and I put my BCAAs in here and I drink it during my workout. And these bottles so, we uh, picked up at Walmart. They're pretty good quality. They're like three bucks. They're three dollars right now. I've got every time I see them for three dollars for a sale because normally they're about four or five. Whenever I see them, I pick up more. Yeah, because, we pick up a bunch. So that's equivalent the amount of water I drink. That's equivalent to two of those jugs, and so that's four point four liters. So that's how much water I drink in a day. But on a day where it's really hot like this, I may need to take in more. Yeah, yeah. Um, you also have to listen to your body and the environment you live in and stuff because. Yeah. Obviously on a day where it's, you know, crazy hot, you're gonna naturally just sweat more even if you don't do much physical activity. Mm -hmm. So you might need to take in a bit more. So one more thing that I take with my morning water is two vitamin C. These are the big pills there, the vitamin C, and one baby aspirin um, a day in the morning. They're good. Um, the baby aspirin's good to keep your blood circulation going. It's healthy for your heart. And uh, yeah. I just take the vitamin C. I don't take the um, baby aspirin. You are looking at meal one. This is, well this morning we made frozen yogurt because it was very hot outside and we also thought it would be good for you guys to see a variation so that you have more meal ideas. This is just half a cup of frozen berries, half a cup of Greek yogurt, it's the fat-free plain, um, half a teaspoon of stevia, 
and a teaspoon of coconut extract and um, it's blended with a little bit of almond milk and the almond milk is I mean sorry it's cashew milk and it's unsweetened and I only add enough so that it will blend the berries because the berries are so frozen and there's no liquid so that's just the liquid to get it going and that's it that's our first meal and also we have carbs and fats the carbs are the fruit the yogurt is the protein and the fats are almonds so we have five unsalted raw almonds also blended in there and for our first breakfast we both eat the exact same thing yep okay guys so it's about 20 minutes later after i like to call them my first second and third breakfast but <laughs> you can call them whatever you want um so i do a my next meal is a cup of egg whites we get these at walmart and a cup of quick oats oatmeal on my eggs i might throw a little bit of no sugar added ketchup i usually do like maybe a teaspoon and some salt and pepper and to my oatmeal <clears throat> i mix it with that cup of oatmeal i mix with just water some cinnamon and some stevia or splenda usually okay there's the old egg whites salt and pepper and some sugar-free ketchup what are you up to now? I'm going to do a variation on that. So, Kyle and I eat the same foods, but he eats more of them, obviously, because he's bigger and has I'm, more muscle. Yeah, a lot better looking. Um, so, <laughs> uh, uh, how funny. So, anyway, um, I'm also eating egg whites and oatmeal. However, Kyle absolutely loves eggs, and I like them, but sometimes I like a change. So I'm gonna show you what I do to eat eggs and oatmeal. I eat egg whites and oatmeal in a different way. Did anybody ever tell you you got big, beautiful eyes? No. <laughs> oh, you do. Yeah, I just did. <laughs> I like trying to throw off your, uh, your info. You do. Okay, so this is half a cup of oatmeal with um, cocoa powder, stevia, and baking powder. And you're, now... You're, you're just a mad scientist. Watch this. Egg whites. I only have a third cup in the morning because I have more, more of my protein later. So I add egg whites. And then for a little more liquid, I'm going to add this red velvet flavoring three tablespoons. This is um, sugar-free, calorie-free, carb-free. It's um, called Skinny Jordan, Jordan Skinny Syrups. And um, I find these at Walmart, I mean, sorry, at Winners. And this is the red velvet one. So now I'm just gonna stir this up and then I'm gonna make a pancake. Yeah, you know, I used to get those Jordan Skinny Syrups at a store called Losers. <laughs> And now you got them my winners. He's throwing throwing out the jokes today for you guys. Look at that. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this in the pan and cook it up. Okay, so it's a little bit crumbly, so it doesn't flip great because there's not a whole lot binding it together. But that's what it looks like. And then I'm just gonna top it with a tablespoon of this Ed Smith no sugar added syrup, and then a tablespoon of unsweetened applesauce and that's that there I'm not gonna lie that looks weird got a liquor spoon it's not weird don't listen to him he's weird it tastes better than it looks right it's really good it tastes like a chocolate oatmeal pancake that's what it is mm. and then you eat it so Getting ready to eat my sloppy old oatmeal. <laughs> but I like it like this, like almost so you could drink it. Um, yeah. And some days I put in some of this no sugar added hazelnut coffee mate. I put about a tablespoon in there. And today's one of those days. Okay guys, I'm just getting my uh, intra workout drink prepared here. Got my jug. Um, I take a scoop of BCAAs, 
Um, we have the Mutant and All Max. Today I'm going to use Mutant Green Apple. One scoop of that. And one scoop of Muscle Tech uh, Creatine Monohydrate. And um, Nicole does the exact same thing. She'll take a scoop of BCAAs during the workout. But she takes her creatine in the form of pills in the Purple K uh, brand. Um, and the only reason for that is because I'm better than her. Okay, it's pre-workout time. Took some Shadow X, each of us a scoop. Because we want to have a good workout today. Yeah! Yeah! I slurped. It's a lemon, it tastes good. If anyone's Italian and they know what granita is, that's what it tastes like. It does actually. Lemon. It's very good. Alright, it is post-workout and we are having fast-acting carbs. Here are my Rice Krispies with one cup of unsweetened cashew milk. You have two cups of Rice Krispies. Two crispies. cups of, it's gluten-free Rice Krispies. And Kyle is having three with one cup of unsweetened cashew milk. And this is the best meal of the day. Yep, bottoms up, buddy. Okay, Hank, here's your post-workout meal. Finish that cashew milk, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> you you like that? You always let them have a lick. Come on now. So one more note about, we said Rice Krispies. Don't buy Rice Krispies, the brand. Buy We buy a generic, yep. no-name no brand name. of crisp rice cereal because um, <laughs> the Rice Krispies have corn in them. And post-workout fast acting, corn is not the best carb. You want basically just rice, rice? and sugar. Mm. Yep. But these don't, like, this only has like four grams of sugar for one cup. Like it's not a lot of but sugar. But just, that's what but, you, that's all you want in there. Yeah. You don't want extra added wheat or corn or whatever else, like the bigger companies have enough money to add in, right? Yeah, exactly. Now you can buy Rice Krispies gluten free, but um, they're more expensive. So we just buy no name. You could also use rice cakes. Yeah, or rice. Like you can eat rice too. It's just yeah. that we choose to this eat This is these. just a little quicker and it's tastier. Yeah. Okay, post-workout shake time. I had my Rice Krispies, and now it's time for some protein. So, cup of egg whites. I've got already added into the blender eight ice cubes. I like it cold, and it makes it a little bit thicker um, when you use ice. Cup of egg whites. And you guys might be going, um, egg whites, are you serious? It actually tastes really good. Um, you wouldn't think so, but when you add the protein powder, it it really you can't I even did, tell. I like some people can't handle the the raw egg whites, but it doesn't bother me. So okay, also in there is a scoop of protein powder. I do for flavor some Splenda or stevia, and a half a tablespoon of cocoa powder. And one last final ingredient to make it super tasty, half a banana and Nicole has the other half. Yep, we share it. And um, I don't put the egg whites just because I don't need as much protein as Kyle. So in mine, I put the banana, the protein powder, and almond, or sorry, not almond milk, cashew milk, unsweetened. Blends a little easier when you plug it in. Okay, so I'm making mine now. Um, I'm just putting a banana, like I said, unsweetened cashew milk. Put a little bit of stevia in. <laughs> you gotta hum when you do it. Yep. Put a little bit of cocoa powder, some ice, and some protein powder. And that's it. Then it pretty much looks like that except no egg whites. Yep. So there you go. That's it for post-workout. Okay, next meal is one cup of green beans, three ounces of chicken breast, and um, 30 carbs worth of white potatoes. Yep. Yes, white potatoes. I'm sure someone's gonna have a problem with white potatoes, but it works when you're building muscle I have a little more chicken than Nicole, and a little more potato, right? Yeah, you have double the potato that I have. You have 60 grams. 60 grams of carbs, And he has 30 grams of carbs. Four ounces, and um, yeah, we discovered that our bodies can handle the white 
brought potatoes, so we're eating them. Yep. Second last meal of the day. It is protein and veggies. Um, so we've got half a cucumber here. We both have half a cucumber. Um, and then sometimes we, ha we usually have tuna, but as a treat every once in a while, we'll replace it with deli meat instead. Um, Kyle has six slices, three turkey and three black forest, and I have five. And we split a piece of light provolone cheese, which is two and a half grams of fat for one slice. So we're getting under one and a half grams of fat. So these, they are President's Choice, and they're the all natural. The Black Forest ham is, it's smoked, and it has like, they're grain fed, they're no hormones in them, it's raised without antibiotics. And it's for three slices. It's two and a half grams of fat, 70 calories, no carbs, no sugar, and 12 grams of protein. And the turkey breast is all natural, has no preservatives, no nitrates. It's 21% um, meat protein, and it's oven roasted. And for three slices, it's 60 calories, half of fat, no carbs, no sugar, and 14 grams of protein. Now, of course, deli meat is processed and high in sodium, but tuna is high in sodium as well. And, and this we don't natural really... stuff is a little less processed. Yeah, this natural stuff is a bit less processed, and it has really good macros. And we don't really count our sodium because when you're lifting weights, you actually need the sodium. So, yeah. And um, Kyle likes to... Sometimes I do too, but Kyle will sometimes put this tablespoon of this half the fat Caesar dressing. Oh, yeah, half a tablespoon. Oh, sorry, half a tablespoon of Caesar dressing, and it's light. And for one tablespoon, it's 40 calories and three grams of fat, three carbs, one sugar, and one fiber. So, for half of for half a tablespoon, it just cut that in half there. And a little bit of mousse start on the uh, meat. Yeah. Uh, sometimes what I do is I just do a dipper. So I just, you know, do this and then I just dip it. You know, a dipper. A dipper. Okay, so that's the meal. See you at the last one. Yep. Having a little snack. <laughs> Before our last meal, we decided to have a little snack. Um, this is sugar-free jello and um, fat-free jello. It has no sugar, calories, carbs, nothing. It's cherry flavor, and we just made the package, and we're just splitting it. So, yeah, it's just a little treat before our last meal of a little dessert. Last meal of the day, my friends. This is half a cup of cottage cheese with some cocoa powder and stevia and a tablespoon of peanut butter. And right now, we are using the Kraft whipped peanut butter. 